and I just wanted to bring you up here on a tour of my farm. We've already been to see some of the rapeseed fields, we've already been into the machinery sheds to look at the machinery and the technology we use to produce your food, and we've been down to the meadows to meet the sheep on our farm. Uh, and I wanted to bring you up here to uh, what's one of our wildlife areas. Um, and I was going to get very excited and noisy, but right down here, there's a little deer that's just creeping out into the grass. So I'm not going to disturb her. She's just feeding in the uh, beautiful early morning sunshine. But this is one of about 14 or 15 bits of woodland uh, that we've planted this last generation, um, which is fantastic. We are big fans of wildlife. We're big fans of conservation here on this farm. Uh, and a lot of farmers in the UK are doing more and more now to, to look after the world around us. Uh, one of the other things we do, and probably one of my favourite areas of the farm, is this area here. It looks a bit wild and a bit unkempt, but it's actually our pollen and nectar mix. Uh, and we plant lots of different plants uh, to uh, provide lots of different benefits. Are you having a look around as well? Fantastic. Uh, this section of plants here, there is a pollen and nectar mix, so it provides pollen and nectar for our butterflies and bees. And butterflies and bees are incredibly important to us on the farm because a lot of our food crops need to be pollinated as well. And actually in here there'll be lots of other insects that are really beneficial to us as well, uh, as well as these beautiful plants. So um, this is a bit of clover here. Uh, and clover is really helpful because it's a legume. You might want to ask about uh, plants that help us on the farm as well here. So there are lots of questions you can ask about the environment. You could ask things about climate change. You could ask us about how plants, animals and insects help us on the farm, or maybe they don't help us. Sometimes they don't. Um, so there are all kinds of questions you can ask about the environment, about wildlife and about the world around us.